second difference. Bryant a three. Good! Kobe a three! Fisher contested it. Mason fouled, and he made the shot! Wow! Ariza with two, drives in, put it up, and a travel is called on Ariza. That was a little over a week ago in the focus of the Toyota NBA Sports Nation. The remix, Spurs-Lakers earlier today on ABC. Kobe Bryant engaged early in this game. But the nice high handoff there to Trevor Ariza. Good energy off the bench. And he's really the difference in their team on the perimeter. Knocking down three-point shots, guarding the other team's best player, and being a compliment to Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant with the jumper off the loose ball. Lakers led it 51-45 at the break. Gasol missing. Bynum a factor inside. Just what you want to see from your big guy. Get the rebound, finish strong, be dominant inside. Then Kobe making things happen. Kobe more of a distributor these days. You can be when you have two big guys that are shooting a high percentage and being very effective down low. Gasol played a major role as well. Great assist man to add to his 16 points, five rebounds after the game. Lisa Salters with Andrew Bynum. How would you describe your performance this afternoon? Uh, you know, I think I just went out there and played hard. I ran the court very hard and uh, just presented myself as a big target for my teammates to give me the ball. Also, on the other end, you were able to hold Tim Duncan to 15 points. What was the key to you doing that? Well, you know, he didn't play in the last part of the game, just like myself, so I'm quite sure if he was out there, he would have scored a little bit more. All I got to do is uh, stay big on him and just try to make him shoot over the top. Well, Jalen, the Los Angeles Lakers lead the NBA in front court scoring, which, if it comes to a rematch in the Western Conference Finals, is a dilemma for the Spurs, right? When Tim Duncan got drafted, he had a twin tower mate in David Robinson. Now he gets a chance to witness that only for another team in Andrew Bynum and Paul Gasol. As great as Duncan is, he can't be in two places at one time. As you see, Paul Gasol getting doubled on the post. Then you have to come help. You do the high-low pass with Bynum. He scores down low. And then you throw it into Bynum. He posts up Duncan and score. You see Paul Gasol going to work on Kurt Thomas and even the pass over the shoulder. The Spurs are a tough defensive team. Have been one of the top defensive teams in the game since Tim Duncan was drafted. But he can't be in two places at one time. The Lakers exposed that. It'd be interesting to see if the Spurs go out and make a move for a young big man that could compliment Tim Duncan. And the interesting factor for the Lakers' perspective, the fact that Andrew Bynum gaining the confidence of head coach Phil Jackson getting some late game minutes. Well,